According to the latest data from 2022, the average user spends 2 hours and 27 minutes on social media daily, and that number is expected to rise. Couple this with the over 4 billion users worldwide, which is expected to rise to well over 6 billion by 2027, and we are talking about a lot of time spent online. With this rapid progress that everyone seems on board with, we should stop and ask ourselves, what is the cost of social media? In other words, with all of the benefits gained, which are enormous, what does it take from us? And not just generally, but as an individual person, what do you give up when you make scrolling through your phone a catch-all for any situation you want to escape from? In what seems like a few short years, just a handful of platforms have changed the fabric of our social lives. According to a study from the Relationships and Technology Lab at the University of Kansas, interactions people experience online, whether positive or negative, can start to shape a user's behavior in the real world. For example, people may feel additional pressure to present their ideal self, go out of the way to take photos for social media usage. Growing evidence indicates this kind of exaggerated self-representation perpetuates the cycle of comparison and often leads to feelings of inadequacy and sadness. But there is more to it than the social element which has received plenty of attention over the years. Let us examine what social media has the capacity to do to our ability to shape who we are as people. This starts with a simple observation, that almost no one seems to care about what they consume. You know the old saying, you are what you eat. Well, can we not say that that equally applies to what you consume digitally? Just look at the idea of a viral video. The type that gets millions of views on seemingly endless momentum, and the strategy employed by those who make them. It's never about offering something special by any standard other than mastering the ability to keep your attention. In other words, if a video can keep you from thinking, it has extreme viral potential. There are some who can combine substantive content with these techniques, but we make this doubly difficult for them because of our short attention spans. Some will argue that this is the whole point of social media, to sit back and relax not have to think after a long day of thinking, and escape from the difficult realities of work and life. But what happens when this escape starts to shape the way we approach the rest of our life? Researchers believe that since social media competes for our attention with the promise of continuous new content, heavy social media users become less able to ignore distractions. This leads to degraded cognitive performance and even shrinks parts of the brain associated with maintaining concentration on tasks. This effect then pushes us to come back to social media more and more, because our regular life becomes that much harder to deal with. If we combine this with the fact that many of us are unhappy or overly stressed in our regular lives, we have a recipe for disaster. Gallup, in its recently released State of the Global Workforce 2022 report, recorded that in the US specifically, 50% of workers reported feeling stressed at their jobs on a daily basis. 41% is being worried, 22% is sad, and 18% is angry, and even 19% as miserable. Social media then offers an escape from the world that we feel we are barely keeping afloat in. And here comes the tragic part. As a result of innocently seeking a break from it all, we dig ourselves into a deeper hole because we slowly give up our ability to think about our lives clearly and be confident about making the small changes we want. If we look at some of the most popular social media accounts, such as travel, lifestyle, and fitness pages, we see the same story. They show you something you want, something you desire so badly. They give you tips and hacks on how to achieve this, but these are superficial and never really help you make real change. In a sense, they feed off of your hope and keep the realities from you, which is that they need you not to have what they have and to desperately desire it and to trust them to guide you to it so that they can have it at all. It is a parasitic relationship between the influencer and the influenced, where the influenced buys into the wrong version of change so that the influencer can live such a life. All the while, we waste the years that we could have otherwise been working on our own lives and escaping from whatever grind we find ourselves in. And this brings us to the next stage, judgment. When we mindlessly consume without disciplining ourselves or actively avoiding things that negatively affect our mental health, we lose our ability to judge things on our own. Have you ever been in an argument with someone who consumes podcasts like Candy or has a favorite YouTuber that rants about every issue? You'll find the same pattern in them, and likely yourself to some degree. When a topic comes up, we rarely reach into our own mind for an answer or the tools to judge something. We think about what so-and-so said. We become mouthpieces of our favorite Joe Rogan episode or Twitch debate. We act like we are citing a source when we invoke them, but really, we are expressing the limits of our knowledge and more importantly expressing our inability to judge for ourselves. 
The world becomes a canvas painted by people we watch on our phones, and over time, you can no longer judge it for yourself. And this brings us to the big problem. We lose the ability to connect with each other. When we become the opinions of those we consume, and when we are addicted to their content, we become locked into their worldview. We may think travel is the best way to live, or that we need to hustle endlessly to earn money and gain respect, or we might be slaves to our follower count on Instagram. In any case, the world is lost to us. The things all people share and have in common has vanished in a swirl of opinions that we have lost the ability to distinguish from fact. Social media is no longer just a source of entertainment or innocent socialization. It is becoming the number one source for information, and the very tool that shapes our intellectual capabilities. The future of the world depends on our ability to discipline ourselves and instead of becoming a product of our short attention spans and laziness in the face of the easy clicks, make our digital atmosphere reflect the world that we want, the one we would dream about if we really sat down and thought about it, not the one we lazily stumble into at the cost of our own freedom and happiness. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel for more. It helps us immensely. Visit the link in the comments to see how you can become a member of our community and support the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.